good morning everyone uh this is i guess it's not our first snowfall of the year but it's our you know it's like the second one that's actually sticking for a little bit just taking the dogs out walk around with them enjoy the weather zell you want to go inside and take care of your puppies or you want to go for a walk come on girl if she leaves she's gonna I'm trying to get her out of the uh, out of the whelping box because that's all she wants to do right now is just take care of them. She start, this is uh, we're into the second week of having these puppies, and Zell's been a very good mom, very very attentive, almost too good. She's got to learn to got to take care of her too a little bit. She needs her time. Rolo, he uh, he met the puppies. The cats met the puppies. I've been um, bottle feeding all of them not because they not because she's not making enough milk but just because i like to handle them a lot um yeah so this is uh new york that's what it looks like right now december 11th 2022 oh look there's a stick sticking right in the ground like that it must have fallen out of the tree um you can see beautiful beautiful um, I got about six acres here. I just bought uh, about 18 acres in uh, Pennsylvania. So, yeah, I got to get out of New York. The taxes and everything here is just crazy. And the, the laws, they have these crazy gun laws here that don't make any sense. But, yeah, to, I mean, for example, I have an AR and they had to cement the magazine inside the the uh the magazine well i guess what you call it but uh it's crazy you know i mean i can fix it and uh i'm gonna have to when i move to pennsylvania but in the meantime i bought these speed reloaders so i can just you know reload it but it's a pain it's just something dumb that really annoyed me but anyway yeah all this tons of bunnies around here go what's up guys I said this my house i'm gonna put this up for sale uh probably next year and uh hopefully move to home sale just bought a camper so that's fun but let's get back to the pups so craziest thing i bred zell with another black german shepherd not rollo because rollo's retired and that's due because he, the vet said he had cancer, prostate cancer, but I don't know, man. I think he's going to live forever. I'm not really sure, but well, hopefully he does. Um, so I bred her with another black German shepherd and I crossed her with lines. His lines are far West and she's pretty far East. She's about, I'd say like 65 to 75% DDR at for sure and then the other dogs that are sv on the seventh generation you can look into i just haven't because they could possibly be um ddr as well um so anyway two black dogs when she started having puppies the first puppy out wasn't all black I mean, you can tell when you start looking at their butts and you see the brown spot around and then their faces and their in their uh their feet and i was like what you know i always thought if you bred two black dogs together you would only get black dogs well apparently there's a chance you can even get a white one so i started looking into the just the genetics behind it so I was even asking the wife, I was like, are you sure that dog was black? And uh, yeah, so it came out, worked out like 25% have color and 75% are all black. So, I mean, I am out of shape. I gotta get back into walking here. Pretty, the snow coming down. My big buddy, love this dog. 
He's been such a good dog. Don't jump on me. What are you doing? As he jumps on me, is, is a bad dog. <laughs> pretty but like i said rollo's he's seven years old he acts just like a puppy he's eating some snow right now zell's thinking about her puppies i wonder if they're okay and she's eating some snow too We're gonna take her back inside. So anyway, the male I bred her to apparently produces mostly male pups because I only have two, no, I have three females and six males out of the litter, which is good. I'll probably use him again in the future. And the lady where I found this dog, it's not too far away. It's like an hour and she's super cool. She takes her dogs. She was just at the army Navy game and uh, her dog Rambo was, uh, you know, looking for drugs and weapons and stuff like that. So she's like, what I hope to be when I retire, you know, and just work with these guys full time. All in due time, hopefully. I just like dogs so much more than people. 